We know how Peyton feels about not practicing. He hates it. We know how he feels about not playing in the first preseason game. He didn't like it. He gets anxious. He wants to be out on the field. He wants to, he wants to play. That's what he's about. He's football through and through. But do you think resting him, as much as Gary Kubiak is resting him, and he's been the first head coach to do this to Peyton Manning, do you think that will help Peyton down the road? Yes, but I don't like the way it's being approached. That your buddy, John Elway, that you had conversation with yesterday. You're just really into conversations. <laughs> I am. About sports. I'm a converser. That John Elway was saying, you know, we want him to be fresh in, in December. And, you know, we want to be, you know, everybody talks about, we want to be peaking. You look at last season, and, and sure, they lost the playoff game, and Peyton Manning was hurt, and that had a lot to do with it, but I just don't think they were as good as Indianapolis. I, I just think they weren't as good as At Indianapolis. At that point in the season, they probably were And their were. coaching was not as good Oh, as, that's for sure. Yeah, so, Chicago's going to find that out soon enough. So I don't know why we have to sit here all the time and rag on that, that, that they're resting Peyton Manning and everything. Yeah, oh, we want to be ready in December. If you go back and look at their Decembers, the Decembers have been good. The Cincinnati game, I told you, they shouldn't have even played. They could have just mailed that in. And I know that's a, that's a cliche used in sports, but they could have forfeited that game. They'd have been better off. They weren't going to win in Cincinnati. What did they do the rest of, Je- of, of December? Forget the playoffs for a moment. They lost. You remember? They lost Cincinnati. Yeah. And then they had one game after that. Which was? Uh, remind Oakland. me. Oakland. Oakland. And they won that. What was the game before Cincinnati? Uh, San Diego. They won that. What I'm saying to you is they lost one game to a playoff team on the road in the rain on a Monday night, wasn't it? Yes. When your quarterback was hurt and your coaching staff wasn't doing a very good job. I don't think you use that as the blueprint for everything going forward that, oh, we're going to do this because of that. What, t- if you go back at two years ago, what they do in December? That was fine. They went to the Super Bowl. So they did okay in December and January. They had a bad game against a good team. You can't go against a good team. And you had a stupid coaching mistake in that. You know, everybody talks about this bad snap. You had John Fox going, oh, I didn't realize this wouldn't be a neutral crowd. Super yep. Bowls are a neutral crowd. When Seattle's involved, you're not going to have a neutral crowd. And truthfully... People in Denver, you're not as loud as people in other places. Uh, You think you're the best fans in the world, you're not. Just because you've got a leprechaun that wanders around, that guy's like 80 years old now. Give it up. That you got a horse that runs around the field. That doesn't make you the best home crowd in all of the NFL. Okay, but as far as Peyton Manning goes, I'll tell you why I don't like it. And why, why I think Broncos fans should be a little concerned. I think he's trying to get a feel for this offense they're trying to implement this new hybrid Gary Kubiak's offense Peyton Manning's offense and he didn't look good in the first preseason game and I think he needs a little more time with it if he's missing practice time and if he's missing preseason game time they didn't look good in that first preseason game that he played in which was last week against Houston I'll be a little more concerned if they still don't look like they're hitting on all cylinders Saturday night against San Francisco. So I get it during the season because it's a whole different level of play during the season. The hits are a lot harder. The speed's a lot faster. But I want him to get this offense down pat before he hits the regular season, then start giving him some rest. By the way, they're exhibitions. They're not... You you are bought you are bought by I'm the just calling them what they want us to call them. Absolutely, That's all. you and those people that call that place out of Dove Valley, whatever that thing is. I, no, I don't use. I don't. Well, do that. then why do you call it with something that's not? It's an exhibition. If the circus comes to town and they have a practice, you don't call that ooh a preseason circus of it. No, <laughs> that's an NFL invention, and all you TV and radio guys always went along with it. They're exhibitions. But they're charging you, sit regularly. You're, you're opposed to these exhibitions, but yet you go along with that. Ooh, that builds it up. So why don't we more. call them pre-regular season games? That would be Because okay. you're being charged that like would, a regular that, season that, game. See, that would have been a much better okay, one. Okay, we'll pre-regular go with that. Season. From now we'll, on, we'll they're pre-regular season games. But, uh, but in regard to Peyton Manning, you are absolutely correct. There needs to be more cohesion with the offense yeah. and the more work they get and I'm going now to he leave. can put that worry to bed I'm, I'm going if to leave. he's good tomorrow night I'm going to leave you with this 
he'll quit at the end of the season if that's what they're doing to him because he continues to play because he likes practice. Yeah, he loves practice. He loves everything about it, everything about the game. Harmony Foundation, that's Colorado's premier treatment program for drug and alcohol addiction. It's located just outside of Estes Park. They've got a very nice, a very private 45-acre mountain campus. It's a very serene place if you or somebody you know needs to get better, and if that is the case, visit them at Harmony Foundation, Inc., Dot com or do what Woody did. Just go up and, and see the place, and uh, you'll be convinced that's the Talk place for you. Talk to people. Yeah, talk to people up there. there